Hi there, this is Rajat here from Startup Frat and today I have a very special video training for you. In today's video, I'm going to totally break down a 1 lakh rupee part-time paycheck for you. Okay, 1 lakh rupee part-time paycheck for you, which you can achieve in probably 2 to 3 months. And uh, this applies to you if you are a corporate professional, if you're a corporate professional who is realizing you cannot trust your employer, uh, your superiors, your industry in order to, you know, just take care of your long term financial health, because they themselves are not able to take care of themselves. Uh, if you are a certified professional like a doctor, lawyer, chartered accountant or architect who's finding themselves lost in an ocean of other such highly qualified professionals, you don't feel so unique and special anymore, right? It feels like you're constantly running after customers. Or if you are a small business owner who is sick and tired, who is sick and tired of being the punching bag of society, of politics, of you know our culture where every time there is a band, there is a lockdown, there is some riot or something, you are the first person who has to shut down their business. You are the first person who has to shut down their business for no fault of yours and you are sick and tired of being a punching bag. Yeah, then this video could be for you. In this training, by the end of it, you will basically learn exactly how billionaires think and exactly how you should think so that you can clear the cloud in your head, you can clear all that fuzziness which keeps your dreams in the dream space yeah it never becomes a reality never becomes tangible never comes on paper yeah so by the end of this video you'll be crystal clear and i'm also going to share with you the real life case study of somebody in our community who's been able to achieve it yeah and if you don't believe me then you will be able to have uh, a personal interaction with them where you can ask them your questions they will walk you through their journey and probably you will get uh, you know, you'll get a lot of inspiration and knowledge and how you can do it yourself because it's easy when somebody else like, you know, somebody who's the, you know, like I'm the founder of this group, it's easy when I say it, but when you see somebody who's just like you who's doing it right now and all of this success is broken down into little pieces that can be deconstructed and reconstructed by you, then, you know, probably you'll be able to achieve these goals yourself in the period of next 60 to 90 days. Okay. So having said that, let us proceed. The game is very simple. In order to achieve, in order to achieve, let us say one lakh rupees of income. I'm not saying a lot. You could be earning much more if you're a corporate professional working for an international company which earns in dollars and pounds and then pays you a rupee salary. Chances are your income may be much higher than one lakh rupees a month. But we use one lakh rupees a month as a kind of a marker because over at, when you start achieving that kind of revenue every month, then you know your business or your future goals they start becoming a little more real. Yeah, they start becoming a little more real. Below one lakh, you know, you're still kind of playing around, you know, you're boasting to your friends, neighbors and saying, oh, I have, I have a business which is making money. But you know that business can never take the role of your full time, uh, you know, financial asset. So, <clears throat> so how do we deconstruct a lakh of rupees? Okay, how do we deconstruct a lakh of rupees a month? Okay, now just for simplicity sake we'll assume these people are not billing customers you're not supplying to any one party they're not going to repay you again and again there are lots of businesses in india which are supply side businesses which say i provide gear parts to tata motors they pay me 10 lakhs every month that is my business it's not we're not talking about those kinds of businesses because you may be lucky you have a 10 lakh rupee a month paying customer but if you have only one or two such customers then you basically in a job yeah you don't have a lot of options i'm sorry to say that but i've been in that industry i've worked very hard in that industry and i've realized that okay now let us say you want to recreate a lakh of rupees a month you know straight out of thin air what do you need what you need is a hundred customers you need to score a hundred customers paying you a thousand rupees every month okay it could be the same hundred customers like if you're a kirana wala you just need a hundred customers paying you thousand rupees every month to make a lakh of rupees right but that's uh, you know that uh, the, that business doesn't have a whole lot of profit margin so let us say you have a hundred customers paying you a thousand rupees every month that's some some kind of a commoditized low ticket business then you have an option where you could have 10 customers 10 customers paying you 10,000 rupees every month or you could get 10 new customers every month. It's just the ticket size of every customer is 10,000 rupees. Like the Apple store, they know at an average, if a Apple owner walks into my store and buys literally anything, the average thing they will buy is, will be more than 10,000 rupees. So they just, they, you know, keep the customers coming back for more with added value, added devices, you know, added software and things like that. That's how the Apple ecosystem works. Okay. So let us say you have an ecosystem where you're able to consistently get, easily get 10 people every month to pay you 10,000 rupees. Okay, or you could have a very high ticket business where you could get one customer, one new customer every month and every time the customer pays, it's let's say a lakh of rupees. 
okay it's a lakh of rupees five zeros okay now how do you get these customers assuming you already have a skill assuming you are a corporate professional and you say i'm going to use my mba skill my corporate skill uh, my my business skill and i'm going to support small businesses in my area and i'll give out my time and advisory or my services uh, you know on an hourly basis and that's how i'll probably get them to pay me okay you could be over here a corporate professional uh, or you could be a certified professional doctor lawyer chartered accountant you say i already have a practice i pretty much know if i work x amount of hours in a month you know i bill so much per hour broadly so that kind of makes me my money okay now i want to grow it by another lakh of rupees let's say or you are a small business owner and you say either i have a product over here or i have a product over here maybe i could have some products over here and what i want to do is convert you know these customers into 1 lakh rupees a month okay <clears throat> now let us say you start from scratch your goal is 1 lakh rupees and you work at an average of about 200 hours a month okay you work at an average of about 200 hours a month that's what the averages are broadly people work about 2000 hours in a year roughly about 200 hours or 180 hours in a month okay so now you want to earn in 200 hours you want to earn 1 lakh rupees let us say you have a cold start you have nothing going on you have a cold start you just start new okay <laughs> now in order to support this customer assuming that you get the money some customer shows up and they say here's a lakh of rupees now service me whatever your service product or whatever it is that you're providing in order to make sure that the product reaches the customer or whatever it is or the service is delivered to the customer or the customer gets to achieve a certain result or you have to dedicate certain number of hours in advisory or helping them out with their problem or whatever assuming it takes you 120 hours to service 1 lakh rupees it takes you 120 hours of actually working or organizing the work or organizing the labor to do the work uh, you know for 10 customers worth 10000 each or one customer worth 1 lakh each let us say it takes you 120 hours okay this is your business house this is your operating cost right now we are only talking time no money okay your operating cost is 120 hours that's your operating cost okay now that leaves you 80 hours 80 hours to go out and find this money okay to go out and find this money okay to go out and find this money now these 80 hours let us say you all allocate okay i have 120 hours in which i can deliver deliver to 10 clients a value of 10000 rupees each product services or whatever or deliver to one person a value of 1 1 lakh rupees whatever it takes me about 80 hours to do that in a month okay so this is like a full time thing okay now Uh, that's 120 hours not 80 sorry yeah 120 hours now 80 hours are left in order to find these people on autopilot mercilessly month after month after month after month after month yeah so you have to set up a system you have to set up a system in order to spend these number of hours somehow so that you end up with 10 customers paying you 10000 each or one customer paying you 1 lakh rupees each a month okay so how do you spend these 80 hours there has to be an event okay event this event is called a sales event where you meet certain number of people you meet a sales you know you in a sales event you meet a certain number of people and they convert to either 10 people worth 10000 each or one person worth 1 lakh each 100k okay now let us say you put a hundred prospects a hundred interested prospects that give you 10000 rupees each you know 10 will convert that's 10% conversion rate so if you put a hundred prospects in to the sales meeting 10 people show up on the other side and they say yes i'm ready to cut a check and they pay you 10000 rupees each or you put 10 10 highly interested prospects who give you one paying customer from which you collect 1 lakh rupees depending on what the ticket size of your operation is now what how what are the different ticket sizes you can charge that's given in our uh, product master class it's called uh, startupfrat.club/product so if you don't understand how do you price all of these you know what is this guy talking about what can i sell for 10 grand what can i sell for 1 grand then just check out a product uh, packaging master class which is startupfrat.club/product okay but let's just stay focused over here okay now you put 10 people in the sales meeting okay which you'll probably be talking to the prospects etc and you expect one of them to pay you a lakh of rupees or you need 100 people uh, you know who out of which 10 convert to pay you 10000 rupees okay now 
for a hundred people to be interested in your product, you will need to show your product to let us say worst case scenario about 1000 people, which means 1000 people in a very highly focused effort have to see within a limited period of time what you do and you have to determine which hundred of them can I bring into this meeting. Okay, which hundred of them am I going to invest my time with over here? Okay, or in the case of this high ticket scenario, for 10 good people to go into the sales meeting, let us say you have to really put your message in a highly focused fashion in a limited time frame in front of 100 people so that 10 of them are interested enough now that they come to the sales meeting. Okay, now this is what a lot of, I see a lot of people in India, Indian entrepreneurs get wrong. They have this hope and belief. I had a great conversation with this guy at some day he will going to give me business. I had a great conversation with this gal, someday she's going to give me business. It doesn't work like that. I need to have a system where a thousand people, you know, get shown my message somehow and they say, yes, I want to meet, I want to meet. Okay. Then you do the sales meeting. Okay. Or I need a hundred people consistently every month, high, high quality people who, you know, 10 of them say every month that, yeah, I want to meet you because I'm really interested. I have a budget, let's say of lakh of rupees and out of these 10, one of them pays you. Okay. Now we are operating over here. Very, very important. You're operating over here. You're operating over here. Okay. Now what you could do is you could actually find, assuming you found a thousand interested prospects somewhere, somewhere, assuming you found a thousand interested prospects somewhere. Okay. You could, uh, you could actually put your, uh, add inside a newspaper, get go to the nearest newspaper vendor, tell them Saturday, Sunday, I want this pamphlet in there. So you know that on Saturday or Sunday, X number of people are going to open their newspaper. The pamphlet is going to fall out. 5% of them are going to be interested enough to call you or 5% of them are going to be interested enough to show some interest by reaching out to you or something like that. Okay. Now let us say you do get a thousand people, a database of a thousand people. A database of a thousand people okay and you spend calling them calling them at an average you can make about 70 calls per hour I've done a lot of this stuff so I know at the max you can do about 70 calls per hour and convert out of a thousand you can convert a hundred interested people okay that go into the sales meeting so that's 70 calls per hour that means it will take you about 15 hours okay very very important now pay very close attention it's going to take you 15 hours to put 100 people into your sales meeting. Okay. Now, if you are a corporate professional, certified professional, small business owner, you don't currently have the system. You need to create the system in order to have consistent cash flow. Okay. It will take you about 15 hours of your own time. If you were to cold call these people and convert 100 interests and 100 people say, yes, I'm interested. When can we talk in detail? When can we talk in detail? Okay, then you put them into the sales meeting. Now these 15 hours, okay, these 15 hours are coming from your 80 hours over here. These 15 hours are coming from your 80 hours over here. So how much time do you have to close this sale? You have 80 minus 15 is about 65 hours to close this sale. Assuming that you don't have any traveling to do in the COVID time, you could get people on a Zoom call or something like that. You know, about 100 people in about 45 minute sales calls each, you need to have a sales call format dialed to perfection for your industry and your customer type, where you can run 100 people through sales calls 45 minutes each and in the remaining 65 hours convert 10 of them to 10,000 rupee customers. Okay, to 10,000 rupee customers. What you could also do is you could spend because these are high quality customers, you could spend 45 minutes talking to all of them via WhatsApp, doing the question answer, etc, getting them on the phone and things like that. 45 minutes each over here in this high ticket scenario and that will use up about 80 hours of your time to put them into one big sales meeting, which could be a webinar, it could be a, just a simple proposal if you send them a proposal if you speak to 100 people for 45 minutes each and send out so many proposals you will typically get a lakh rupee paying customer assuming all other variables are dialed in okay or what you could do is you could speak to all of these people for 45 minutes each and get them into a, a, a an extremely high uh, high end kind of a sales meeting like you have these proper seminars in uh, you know in five star hotels like how 
Club Mahindra or somebody, they invite you and your spouse to a nice dinner, a show where they present, you know, all of these, uh, their whole travel arrangements and things like that, right? The whole club, club memberships and all. It's pretty high end. You go there, you feel good. And, uh, you know, throughout this whole seminar that they have, they do make you feel valuable so that, you know, if you invest two, three lakh rupees in their membership, you do feel that it's of value to you and it's adding value to you. So that's, you know, so it's a pretty high end kind of a sales call where you could, you know, these people speak to speak to you for 30, 40, 50 minutes and you email There's a proper procedure so that when 100 people over here show up, they do end up closing lakh rupee clients. OK, they do end up closing lakh rupee clients. Now, what we have is all of this stuff is your marketing cost okay all of this stuff is your marketing cost so your operating cost is 120 hours let us say maybe one employee that services the customers or something like that okay maybe maybe an employee or maybe somebody who just manages your office switches on the office every day cleans it out you know maybe maybe an office boy or something like that that maintains your office you provide the service yourself okay and then you have marketing cost which is 80 hours over here Okay, and then maybe you have somebody who does all the telecalls for you or something like that, who does some pre framing, some database cleaning, or something like that for you, some back office guy who keeps the thing ship shape. So you're able to pound the calls to the right people, convert them in sales meetings and things like that. Okay, now in addition to that, the cost of running this business is let us say an office worth 50,000, let us say one or two employees worth 20,000, and then 200 hours of your time. 200 hours of your time uh, every month so that you are able to keep this thing ship shape and you collect a lakh rupees. Now your net profit on this whole business is about 30%. Your net profit on this whole business is about 30%. Now let's go deeper into the math. Yeah. So you make about 30,000 rupees by spending in 80 hours of actually promoting your business of being a salesperson for your business or your practice or whatever. Yeah. Now I know some of you guys are doctors, lawyers, child accountants, some of you guys may be corporate professionals, small agencies, and you may be like, yeah, we have ourselves listed on Practo. We have ourselves listed on certain professional networks. You know, that's where my business comes from. And then I have references and existing customers pay me and all of that. That is great. That is great. If that is consistently giving you business and you're happy with it, you don't want to expand further. You never think about, you know, what is it that I don't know that's not helping me scale further, then that's fine. But if you do want to scale further, then if you do want to be in 200% control of your destiny, if you want to be able to predict what's going to happen 30 days from now, 60 days from now and 90 days from now, like a mathematical equation, then just hear this out. Okay. You just spent 80 hours of marketing to generate 30,000 rupees of profit. You just spent 80 hours of marketing to spend 30,000 uh, rupees of profit. So that means the return on your marketing time, the return on your marketing time is 3000 by eight, which is about 375 rupees per hour. Okay, it's about 375 rupees per hour. Now, what if I told you, what if I told you that you could 10x this, 10x this return by using something called cyborg marketing, cyborg marketing. What is cyborg marketing? Cyborg marketing is you. That's you. Okay, ladies or gents, whatever. And then you have something called a Iron Man robot suit which is like a robot. This is like an Iron Man robot suit. Okay. What you do is you shoot a video of yourself. You shoot a video of yourself and you put it over here. So this becomes like your robotic avatar or something like that. Yeah. Like you had in that movie avatar. So what you've go, done is you put your little video and, and put your little avatar inside this, inside this robot. Okay. Now this robot does everything that I just told you, which is finding the people, finding interested, finding agencies which have the database, buying that database, calling that database themselves and putting all of these interested people, let us say in a high ticket situation, putting about 10 interested people into this box, which is a sales meeting. And you were to spend only 10 hours converting them to a one lakh rupee customer. Okay, now hear me out. Out of the 200 hours that you had spent and 120 will require to service this particular customer, out of the 80 hours, what if I told you that you'd need to spend only 10 hours? 
which is only 12% of what you were spending and you'll still be able to get this result because the cyborg will be doing everything else for you. It'll be going out and finding the data for you. It'll be going and calling them. It'll be convincing them and bringing them into this one hour sales meeting with you. If you speak to 10 such prospects, you generate a lakh of rupees. Now what's happening is in 10 hours, you were able to generate in 10 hours, you were able to generate 30,000 rupees in profit. In 10 hours, you were able to generate 30,000 rupees in profit, saving you 70 hours. Okay, so how much money did this cyborg just generate for you? How much money did this cyborg generate for you? That's 375 into 70 hours that you now have left. That you now have left. So I'll just do the math. This is a valuation of rupees. That's 26,250 rupees worth of value. 26,250 rupees worth of value that this cyborg that's working 24 7, 365 is creating for you while you're not there. You know why? Because in only 10 hours of working, you're able to create 1 lakh rupees in revenue and 30,000 rupees in profit. Now, what if I told you, you don't, you only need to create the cyborg once. You only need to create the cyborg once. Okay, and then it'll work for you forever. The only difference is that all of your different customers and your prospects and the people who saw your business but they never showed interest, they may have different different questions in their mind. They may have different different questions in their mind which is why they have not signed with you yet. They may be thinking of signing with you. You may have their attention. They may be interested. They may be desirous or they may be committed. What happens is you've got all these different thoughts and questions and objections going on in their mind. So all you have to do is every couple of days, Every couple of days, feed the cyborg with one new message, one new answer to somebody's objection and send it out back into the wide world. It's going to buy all the data. It's going to call all of those people. It's going to show them your video. And when they're interested, it'll pump them over here. You can literally keep working these 10 hours and collecting this lakh of rupees in billing and then doing the 120 hours of work and supplying those customers or what you could do is or what you could do is you could tell the cyborg I have so much time why don't you instead of giving me 10 meetings give me 80 meetings give me 80 meetings you will be able to create about 8 lakh rupees in revenue which will leave you with only one problem how do you hire more employees and systems to support these highly paying customers which in my mind is a great problem to have once we come to that problem there are different other techniques that we use but for now this little technique could reach you from zero to one lakhs to maybe five lakhs a month. Now, <clears throat> who is this person that I was talking about at the beginning of this video? Who is this person I was talking about at the beginning of this video? He has a running business. Okay, he has a running business. And then when the lockdown hit, he was, uh, you know, he was kind of turning his business around to uh, you know, to make it more Zoom friendly, more remote friendly and all of that. So he doesn't have to be physically present everywhere. And then it struck him. He says, if I can do this, if I can do this, there has been, I, there has been a deep seated passion in me to help people in some other area. And this other area, I have a very good experience as a consumer. And I've seen that there are gaps where consumers get hurt and there is nobody to take care of them. So I would like to start a business in this other area. Okay, so I'm trying to make my business COVID friendly, get it online, get it on Zoom and things like that. And while doing that, I realized there is this whole entire other area that I always thought, why aren't customers better taken care of? Because I have been that customer. Why don't I start a new business, a new business? Okay, instead of, you know, this, this business is running fine, that's great. But instead of pumping my time into this business, why don't I go into my passion area? Because this seems like the right time. This seems like the right time. Reinvention, yeah. So he takes 90 days to reinvent himself. Now he's had these ideas in his mind for a long time and he's been in our community for about seven, eight months. But in the last 90 days, he says, now this thing is coming together. I need to put this out and working extremely hard to build this cyborg for himself. Once he has been able to create a constant stream of six figure paying customers within a period of 90 days. Yeah. Now the fun part, the industry that he chose to work in, was much badly hit by COVID than his original profession. Okay, the industry that he chose was worse hit, 10 times worse hit in COVID than his original profession. 
But he still said, if I want to build a cyborg, it's going to be for that business. Why? Because it's something that I feel very passionately about. So it came from nowhere, came only from passion, not a whole lot of technical knowledge, not a lot of market experience. He doesn't have any experience in that area. And in the COVID, there are some industries which have come up. This industry was actually it had gone down. It is the worst possible industry to be in at this point, even worse than hospitality and hotels and restaurants. And using nothing but long amounts of time, put in sheer will and hard work, our friend has created a totally game-changing offering, you know, game-changing offering in the new economy, how to build a three-phase offering. Uh, once again, in the masterclass startupfrat.club forward slash product. And if you want to know who this person is, if you want to hang out with them, if you want to meet them and learn from them for a period of five to six days on live camera one-on-one, -on -one, it's not really one-on-one, -on -one, there'll be other people also, but you know, all of your questions will be answered. If you want to be able to do that, we have specially requested this gentleman to make himself available. As you know, he's become very busy. So to get his time is not easy, but we have requested him and he is willing to spend some time with you. If you'd like to go ahead and, uh, you know, interface with him, learn some of the success principles, learn what are the things that made him successful? What are the things that were roadblocks for him? Where is the exact balance point? Where is the exact balance point among all this knowledge flying around? Where is the balance point? How do you put one step ahead of another? If you'd like to know that, I want you to write on the, in the comments on this video, I don't have a link for you or anything, but I want you to write, cut me in. Yeah, I want you to write, cut me in on this video today. And I'll be here with another video tomorrow. And then I'm going to help set up a meeting or series of meetings with this person so that you guys can interact. You can ask him directly. There'll be like no moderation or anything. You can just full on ask anything that you want, but it will be at a specific time and at a specific place. It will have a time limit to it because obviously we cannot ask unlimited times from people. So if this model interests you, if you would like to understand how being a corporate professional or a certified professional or a small business owner, you are able, you, you should be able to do this, then put in the comments below, cut me in and we will notify you of when these series of web meetings is going to take place. You'll be able to attend on Facebook live or on Zoom, depending on uh, what your subscription level in the community is. Okay. So just write cut me in and I'll cut you in. Okay. Wait for a training tomorrow. I'll see you. Bye-bye.